All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at three of the most popular new style flashlights. They're all the pocket knife style lights um, designed for everyday carry to be carried in your pants pocket, and that way it's very comfortable. So in this video, we're going to be checking them all out and letting you guys see each one of them's features and functions. So let's do it. All right, guys, like I mentioned in the intro today, we're going to be taking a look at all three of these different lights. They're all kind of the new style lights. Um, we'll go over each one of them. It is the new Streamlight Wedge XT. It is the Olight Arcfeld Pro. And finally, the Nightcore EDC 27. Now, all three of these lights have a feature um, that is pretty unique. It's not round, obviously, as you see. They're a flat profile, and they're designed to go in your pants pockets. Uh, it's a much more comfortable, uh, you know, wearing every day in your pants pocket versus a round light. You know, it's kind of designed after a pocket, pocket knife. Um, all of them have belt clips on them, as you see. Um, this is the newest version of the Wedge. Uh, the original wedge is a little bit longer and it has the flip button here on it that turns it on and off. And this one has the button that's on the tailpiece. So we'll be going over all of these lights. Um, they're all relatively pretty close in price, but each one of them has completely different functions and features. And hopefully this video will narrow it down to the one that fits your needs the best. So we'll start out with the Wedge XT. Um, it comes with a little lanyard pull to make it easy to get out of your pocket. It has the USB-C recharging port that's on the outside and the power button is on the back. Um, it does have a battery indicator. It's a little green light that's kind of down in there when you first turn it on. Hopefully I can get the camera to see it. It just kind of like shines through the crack there. Um, it's also here on this side as well. So you can double click it and it's a low power, a double click again, and it goes to the full 500 lumens. Very small light. It has a 50 lumens on low, 500 lumens on high. It has two hours runtime on high, 11 hours runtime on low so very nice little light it is the newest version it's pretty cool it's very small a lot smaller than the other ones um, the next one we'll be taking a look at is the arc failed pro i've done a full video on this uh, you can check it out if you're interested in this light that would cover all the features and functions but it pretty much gives you three different modes it's got a uv mode it has a, a green laser pointer and in laser mode, you can still turn on the flashlight with it and have the laser and flashlight at the same time. If that's something that you want to do by double clicking it. And it has the power function for the light. Um, it comes with a low double click and it goes to a higher mode, triple click, and it goes to a strobe. Um, power indicator here showing you how much battery was left, but it has a proprietary cord that you have to charge it with. And that's my only negative with this light. I really like the size of it. I like the dual function head clip, as you see, where you can put it on the bill of a hat or in your pocket like you'd normally wear it. It's a very nice light. Um, the only thing I have a problem with is that proprietary cord, but this light works extremely well. And it, as far as functions, has a 1300 to 420 lumen turbo mode with a runtime from four to 126 minutes. High is 420 lumens to 100 lumens 
with a runtime of 135 minutes. Medium is 100 lumens, nine hours. Low is 15 lumens for 55 hours. And it has a moonlight feature, which is one lumen that will run 11 days. So pretty cool little light there. And the last one we have is the Nightcore EDC 27. Now this is the brightest of all the lights by far and probably the most feature packed light that you will see. Um, pretty simple looking on the outside. It's got some texture places for you to hold it. It's got the opening here for the USB-C charger. And it does have a digital readout screen on it. Um, this light's pretty cool. One click to turn it on and it remembers the last setting that you had it on. Um, this one was 65 lumens and it gives you the runtime here on the screen. Turn it back on. You see it comes back on at 65 lumens and shows 12 hours of runtime. So a half press will get you the next lumen up, which is 200 lumens, three hours, 30 minute runtime. Another half press is a thousand lumens, one hour, 11 minutes of runtime. Half press again goes back to 15, which is the lowest lumen setting, 33 hours, 39 minutes. And hopefully the camera will pick this up as I cycle through them again, 65 lumens, 200 lumens. A thousand lumens. Now in any one of these modes, um, as you see, I have it in 65, you can press this side of the button and it will go to 3000 lumens, but it has a countdown timer. The light gets extremely hot, so the batteries will diminish quickly, but it always goes back to the function that you had it on before when you let off the button, which is the 65 lumens. Um, a full press turns the light off. Uh, it does have a lot of functions. It's got the strobe feature and um, stuff like that on it. It also has a feature where you can um, have different modes for the light to work. It's got a lot of stuff that I don't really get into, like that turbo mode and stuff like that. But anyway, that is the EDC 27 from Nightcore. Pretty cool little light. This one definitely does a lot more than the others. Um, pretty much lights are a personal preference. Uh, each one of them's close to the same size, but all of them have kind of a more difference in the way they're used and the functions that they have. But hopefully this will kind of clear it up if you guys are interested in any of these lights that you see here. There will be a link in the description where you can check them out on Amazon. Like I say, they're all pretty close to the same price. They're just different kind of lights that I found was pretty cool. Um, I do have the original wedge uh, by Streamlight. It's the Coyote color, and I've used that light a lot. I really, really like that light. And that kind of got me interested in the other pocket knife style lights that were on the market, and that's where these come in. So that's kind of the review that I have on all three of these. That way you guys can see them side by side and kind of look at them before you buy them and kind of know the difference between the USB-C charging ones here and the proprietary cord that's in this one. Um, like I said, that's the only negative I have with that light. If you're ever out somewhere and you need to charge it, unless one of your buddies has an old light cord or you brought yours with you, you're not going to charge that light. But anyway, that's all three of them. Hopefully this will make a little easier decision if you've been looking at this style of light. That way you kind of make a little more educated guess on which one they are and see them side by side. Like always guys, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Links is down in the description for all of these lights here. Take a look at them. And if you're not subscribed, just click that button. It's totally free. That way you can see more cool tool reviews and everything else that we offer. You guys have a great day. See ya.